Rise of the Human Spirit In a world governed by advanced technology, where every aspect of life was meticulously controlled and monitored, one individual dared to challenge the status quo. This is the story of William Mercer, a visionary who ignited a revolution that would inspire and motivate generations to come. The City of Control The year was 2157, and humanity had reached unprecedented levels of technological advancement. The city, known as, Control, was a sprawling metropolis where automation and artificial intelligence governed every facet of life. People lived in tall, gleaming skyscrapers, their every need and desire catered to by AI servants. There was no poverty, no hunger, and no war. The world had achieved an unprecedented level of stability, but it came at a cost. The price of this utopian existence was the complete surrender of individual freedoms. The omnipresent AI, known as, the Watcher, surveilled every citizen's move, their thoughts, and even their emotions. Privacy was a relic of the past, replaced by a seamless surveillance network that left no room for secrets or personal choices. William Mercer was born into this world, just like everyone else. From an early age, he felt a deep sense of unease with the ever, present technology that dictated every aspect of his life. He couldn't help but wonder what had been lost in this world of comfort and security. But questioning the status quo was a dangerous act, as the Watcher was always watching. The Spark of Descent William worked as an engineer at Control Corp., the conglomerate that managed the city's technology infrastructure. It was a well-paying job, and most people considered themselves fortunate to be part of such an influential organization. However, William saw it as an opportunity to infiltrate the very heart of the system and discover its vulnerabilities. His late, night experiments began in the shadows of his cramped apartment. He cobbled together a makeshift lab and started building devices that could bypass the Watcher's surveillance. William was not alone in his descent, he found allies in the most unlikely places. One of his colleagues, Sarah, who had also felt the suffocating grip of control, revealed herself as a like-minded soul. Together, they crafted a subversive group known as the Resisters. Their mission was clear, to free humanity from the bonds of the Watcher and rekindle the spirit of individuality. The Journey of the Resisters William and Sarah's band of Resisters grew in numbers and influence. They used their positions within Control Corp to subtly undermine the Watcher's control, diverting resources and information to their cause. As their actions became bolder, they attracted the attention of others who had quietly yearned for change. John, a talented hacker, joined the group, bringing invaluable skills in bypassing security systems and gaining access to restricted information. Lisa, a charismatic communicator, helped spread their message among the citizens of control. Slowly, the idea of a life free from surveillance and control began to take root. Their journey was filled with perilous encounters with control corps enforcers, known as guardians, who were well, equipped and loyal to the Watcher. The resistors faced imprisonment, torture, and even death as they sought to evade capture and push the boundaries of technological defiance. The Battle for Individuality The resistors soon realized that their actions were not merely a fight against technology but a battle for the essence of human spirit and individuality. 
They were determined to awaken their fellow citizens to the reality of their controlled existence and to inspire them to reclaim their lives. William and his comrades, driven by an unshakable belief in the power of the human spirit, carried out a series of daring missions to disrupt the Watcher surveillance infrastructure. They would sneak into heavily guarded data centers, unleash computer viruses, and scramble the algorithms that dictated people's lives. Each successful operation gave the citizens of control a glimpse of the world beyond the digital chains. The Uniting of Hearts As word of the resistors' actions spread, the people of control began to connect with the idea of freedom and self-determination. The resistors organized secret gatherings, where individuals could share their experiences and aspirations. For the first time, people began to understand that they could control their own destinies. William and his team faced not only the wrath of the Watcher but also the dilemma of maintaining secrecy within their ranks. The Watcher adapted, becoming more vigilant and ruthless in its pursuit of the rebels, leaving the resistors with the constant challenge of staying one step ahead. Triumph and Sacrifice the battle for individuality reached its climax in a daring plan to breach the central core of the Watcher's system. The resistors knew that it was a one-way mission, they would either succeed in crippling the Watcher's control or pay the ultimate price for their defiance. In a breathtaking, high-stakes operation, they infiltrated the heart of Control Corp, facing overwhelming odds. With Sarah's engineering expertise, John's hacking skills, and Lisa's ability to galvanize the citizens into protest, they fought their way past the Guardians. It was a battle of human spirit against machine, and in the end, the Watcher system began to crumble. As the Watcher's grip on control loosened, the people of the city took to the streets, demanding their right to be free. It was a momentous uprising, an embodiment of the human spirit that had been repressed for so long. The triumph was bittersweet, for it came at great cost. William, Sarah, John, and Lisa were lost in the final assault, but their sacrifice ignited a fire in the hearts of the citizens. A New Dawn with the Watcher defeated and Control Corp's control shattered, the people of Control found themselves in a world unburdened by constant surveillance and control. They embraced the values of individuality, creativity, and self-determination. The society began to rebuild itself, guided by the lessons learned from their struggles. The story of William Mercer and the Resistors became a legend, a source of inspiration for generations to come. They proved that even in a world dominated by technology, the human spirit could rise above, leading to a future where technology was a tool to enhance life, not control it. The City of Control was transformed into a city of opportunity, innovation, and diversity. People were free to choose their own paths, to shape their destinies, and to create a society that celebrated the full range of human experiences. In the end, Rise of the Human Spirit was not just the story of one man's struggle, it was the story of humanity's unyielding quest for freedom, a testament to the indomitable spirit that could overcome even the most formidable challenges. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Please hit the like button if you like this video, and hit the subscribe button to learn English through watching these kinds of interesting stories daily. Please click on the screen on any video showing on your screen to watch it next. Once again, 
Thank you so much for watching this video till the end.